Hello, I'm Entrisium and welcome to Stars Modded with the Star Trek New Horizons mod, which of course as a mod is completely free on the Steam Workshop, etc. Uh, this is a mod that basically, as you may have guessed, uh, basically takes Stars and uh, completely puts all the Star Trek universe right inside it. Um, Pretty cool, actually. It's it's still in kind of an early-ish alpha stage. I've been kind of watching it for a while and had it loaded on my PC, and every time I've tried it and booted it up and be like, yeah, it's still a little bit early. We're getting to the stage now, however, where I feel that it's got enough gameplay that I can cover it. Bear in mind that there are still a lot of things like descriptions and stuff of like different texts that are not really fully filled in. But we have got to the stage now of the mod where if you like click, you can see like, look, that's a Federation ship, that's a Romulan ship, that's a Cardassian ship, that's a Dominion ship. That's an Andorian ship. That's a Vulcan. And it's so cool because all of them have like their own little thing. I think they all use warp drives at least. Yeah. Yeah, they're always warp drives at least. So, uh, basically, we're going to have a little bit of a dive in and play around and see how it goes. Uh, bear in mind, of course, you know, this is going to be a little bit of a shorter LP, maybe, because we do have the Utopia update coming out for Stellaris relatively soon. I don't think I've put a date on it. So, I don't know, like maybe a month or whatever. So, it won't be a super long LP, but I certainly want to see what it's like now in the game. And I do want to cover the mod because it's, there's so much... So much awesomeness in it. There's definitely like a load of like dedication has gone this one. I mean, listen to the music. It just sets the scene so nicely. And of course, the whole clicking. It's it's the Star Trek sounds. Yay! Uh, I'm not a massive Star Trek fan, by the way. I I I, I like it. Um, there are certainly off and on episode, but I'm not a super like expert. I I've probably watched most of the episodes of all the different Star Trek shows, probably. Maybe not the original series, but you know, other than that. I just, I kind of find it cool when someone puts so much effort into this. I'm probably going to get totally content id for that music, but whatever. Uh, so we're going to play as United Earth. They become the Federation after some events and stuff. The reason that I'm going to be playing as them, I mean, I know they're the goody two-shoes, moral do-gooders, etc. And everyone's going to cringe. But as kind of the center point for all the TV shows, uh, they have the most content on them. And they have a load of events and stuff in the game. Whereas, you know, if we wanted to play as, say, the Tholians... I don't think there would be nowhere near as much content. So, it's probably best that we go with the Federation also. Look at them. Like, this is all the, this is all the right, like, that we can play the Gorn. Uh, yeah, so we're going to be playing as moral democracy, diplomatic, individualistic, stoic. We are charismatic, communal, slow breeders, and natural sociologists. Tell that to Barnley. There we go. Uh, we're going to play as the default, like... Punching the microphone. Uh, we're gonna play as the default, like, uh, galaxy. I don't really want to edit any of it. This is the, uh, the Milky Way galaxy. is set out all the different races in the correct places according to the map. Um, I don't want to mess with any of these because, you know, I guess the mod is no best. Endgame crises are on. I do wonder if that means Borg because I know the Borg are definitely going to be a thing. I don't know if they are already implemented or they're going to be implemented later. They're not on the race list as far as I saw. So I think they might be a crisis. If they are actually implemented, that would be so awesome. I totally want that to happen. I'm going to get murdered. All 359 will happen and we will all die. But, you know, a guy can hope. United Earth. Government Moral Democracy. Ruler Nathan Samuels. Nathan. Ah, they can't set the gender of the starting character, but they can set the name. Okay. Uh, FTL method none. That is incorrect. Capital Earth, blah, blah, blah. The specter of war has followed humanity for centuries, culminating in the Third World War of 2053. Emerging from this post-atomic horror, the people of Earth struggle to survive until the scientist Zephram Cochran successfully drew the attention of the Vulcan science vessel to Planner Hath a decade later. Following almost a century of Vulcan patronage, the people of Earth are ready to take their first steps into the great unknown, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no one has gone before. That voice really hurts. I should stop doing that. Right, we're going to begin. Uh, okay. Let's check out our science. So, particle physicist, adaptable, and you've got a military theory, which is a sociology thing, so you've all got the right stuff. Um... Gravitational sensors, optical computers, gravity manipulations, which is a technical console. Okay. Ooh, there's a lot of fancy stuff here. That's just like weapon damage, chance to hit, etc. Um, and this is tracking. I'm going to go for the technical consoles. Now, you might be wondering, what is a component technical console? 
this game adds like a whole load of new slots and stuff for different things. So you've got like tactical consoles and engineering and it's pretty cool slash awesome slash a little bit more complicated than normal Solaris. But hey, normal Solaris is fairly simple. Um, Border control, form federation, Zenos allowed. This is kind of necessary, but I think I'm going to go colony ship first. Um, and engineering console, spaceport level 2. I'm going to go engineering console for now. Spaceport level 2 sounds nice, but not quite yet. Right, where's our science ship? Okay. Loretta Jackson, please head to Alpha Centauri. Then Barnard Star, then Wolf, then Wolf 359. No Borg, it's fine. Everyone just thinks it's another, like, star at the moment. I mean, it is another star. But the, the point being that there's been no massacre there yet. How's our starting resources looking? Vesta. Ariel, Oberon. Oh, is Oberon over here? Oh, okay. Oh yeah, because over on Titania over there. Yeah. Uh, right, we also want the construction ship to go out and start making us some minerals. Again, you know, early game Stellaris, it's one of these fun times where you're like, Oh yeah, I'm going to send out my ship to get me plus two minerals. Totally necessary. We only need four food. Okay, we've got four food, we're fine. Um, that power plant's been unworked. Unworked? Not worked? Words. Research is now split into different things. Like, instead of having one research lab and then specializing, you have, like, a basic engineering lab. Uh, this would be amazing. It would be a massive buff for our science. Very tempting to do it. The problem is with slow breeders, so... Mm, let's do it. And we've also got Mars, which we started to uh, actually colonize. A lot of food, not much else. We'll... Try and get ourselves a uh, basic physics lab when we A, have the minerals, and B, have a population there. Now if we look at the galaxy map, I think we should know where the Vulcans are at the very start. There we go. Hi! Federation Founders, Peaceful Bureaucracy. Let's offer them a migration treaty because they like arid places. They might actually want to come over and like live on Mars. Sweet. We'll also get a non-aggression pact. I won't go for a defensive pact because it actually costs us influence. And I kind of want to get influence right now. Especially since I don't know anyone else around. Like, there's no point in really having defensive pact if, you know, there's no one around here. And, you know, there's no going to be, like, Borg running around, hopefully, at this stage in the game. I mean, you know, time travel, but whatever. We don't talk about the movie. Actually, we should talk about the movie. The movie's okay. Inactive building. Oh, the power plant down here. Yeah, I actually want you doing science for now. Build, my pretties. Build. Incoming transmission. Yeah, definitely the pact. I'm, I'm gonna decline it. Like I said, I need me, uh, need me influence. Station complete. Now, like in my experience. The very first half hour to an hour of Stellaris, you were like, oh my god, I need minerals. And then after that, you're like, oh my god, I need power for probably the next rest of the game. Station complete. Yeah, we're getting like 10 engineering now. That's pretty good. Uh, everyone else is doing okay. Yeah, continue on. Capital World Survey. Sure, we'll go for it. Spatial rift detected. Spatial rift? There's someone in the Alpha Centauri system? That will not do. Station. A very early that like that's uh that's early space age. But we need to we need to settle there like as soon as possible to stop them from claiming that place, because you know. It's a nice place. I want it. Uh, 
we'll get one more mining station, then we're just going to start saving up our uh, stuff for a colony ship. Now, we're going to try and play this place where we like, I, I very much like alternate histories complete. and screwing around with the status quo, uh, but I'm not going to do that in this playthrough because I kind of want to experience it vanilla Star Trek-y, mostly, mostly, uh, because that's probably what the events have been designed for, and I don't know how many things there are away from the beaten track. Now, eventually there might well be, but since it's early alpha, I bet most of the content will be just vanilla, you know, Federation is formed, Zindi come along, I don't know what else, you know, that's not in order, obviously. Obviously. Um, defense satellites. Tech engineering defense. I think it's like an upgrade for something. Spatial torpedo, I've got spatial torpedo. Station complete. Um, that's fine. I don't really want to build on any of the plus one uh, mineral places because at the end of the day, the upkeep for the station will like mean I need to, you know, I'm going to be down in the energy credits. How's Mars doing? Doing okay. Earth. Yeah, if we could get someone over to work this, that'd be grand. Actually. Get ourselves some uh, bonus energy. Plus six. Ooh, very nice. How's our Centauri coming? Not a massive place. 14 tiles. Research mm. complete. Okay, we've encountered some aliens over here. Early space age. Hi. Hi? Oh, okay. Colony ship. Monthly influence. Yeah, let's get monthly influence. That sounds pretty good, especially considering we're going to go to a federation. Warp engine, phase cannon. Migration speed increase, resettlement cost decrease. Um... I mean, you know, with the Federation, so free transport or access is pretty good, but at the same stage, I know that pirates are coming, because it's the standard uh, Stellaris event of early game pirates, and kind of want to have a little bit more phase cannon. Oh, that said, you know, the warp engine is pretty nice. So we'll go phase cannon now. Colony ship's going to take two more months, I think. Research complete. Special torpedo. Polarized hull plating. Uh, let's go spaceport level two. I don't know if the polarized hull plating is going to be more important. Uh, Call me ship. Now the question is where we'll colonize. This is another size 14, so there's two size 14s in Alpha Centauri. Anything good? Two engineering. You gain level. Good for you. Two energy here. Well, we could probably grab that. Yeah, let's grab that. I mean, we've got no like plus two minerals, which I normally hit up really early on, but plus two energy is still good. I mean, there's no like downside to that. It costs energy to upkeep your stations. We are gaining energy. Like, there's literally no downside other than the mineral cost you pay, first of all, so. I will want to build, like, another science ship. Long -range scan of planet. But right now, Anomaly busy. Found. Uh, arriving, we've detected unusual intermittent subspace reading. Ooh, definitely research that, then. Research complete. Spaceport level two. <gasps> we can get a destroyer. It's going to cost a fortune, but I totally want to learn about destroyers. I mean, out of the options, destroy it. Then we can have the Enterprise. That's not destroy it. We need like the original Enterprise theme tune. It's been a long road. Getting from there to here. 
A, after a day in orbit of Alpha Centauri 10 of no progress in locating the source of the unusual subsex readings, Captain Loretta Jackson pressed to give the order to move the Einstein to the next survey target. Moments later, the ship sensors detect a surge in subsex activity, followed by appearance of an alien ship off the port bow. Hailing the vessel proves fruitless and other several minutes of silence confrontation, the ship warps away. Oh, oh okay. Um, time to follow the ship, wait for the ship to return, leave orbit, we don't want a confrontation. It's probably a Romulan ship. This is probably a terrible idea. We're going to attempt to follow the ship. Within minutes of entering warp, the Einstein sensors lock onto the vessel starts to deteriorate. Five minutes more and the ship has disappeared from sensors completely. Captain Loretta Jackson orders additional power to the sensors and another subspace to detect several light hours away. Arriving at the coordinates, the vessel appears to be attempting to widen the disturbance through an attack on a mission of an unknown nature. However, as the Einstein draws near, the emissions are cut. The vessel raises its shields and powers what appears to be a weapons system. Oh, God. Um, hail them. Ooh. The USS Einstein's communications officer repeats all low frequencies the hail to the open vessel. The bridge crew await response in tense silence above the hum of the ship's engine in the background. And alert chimes, transporter beams through the enemy vessels have been detected throughout the ship, and weapons fire warnings have triggered across a number of decks. At the same time, the enemy vessels warped away, the boarding action apparently a distraction. Security teams repel the boarders! Security teams assemble throughout key sections of the ship, beam rifles in hand. The sound of the enemy disrupted weapons uh, ring through the corridors. While crew report their own stun settings being ineffective. The tail officer moves through the deck by deck with a team of combat veteran officers pushing the boarders back further and further until at last they are bottled in around the main cargo bay. Captain Jackson uses the intercom to demand the alien surrender, but they either do not understand or refuse to accept. The remaining boarders, five in total, appear to converse briefly before collectively firing their weapons at the cargo bay door. The air in the cargo bay is pushed into space along with the remaining boarders. Emergency forces are put in place around the section and the ship is secured as the security... Uh, collect various pieces of discarded alien weaponry and equipment. Ooh. So we got a load of science, though. So that's good. Quite a lot of science. That's quite nice. That's a that's an event based on, like, I don't know, one of the novels or... Like, none of the TV shows cover this period in time. Enterprise is still to happen. Or no. Enterprise is... No, that's Enterprise. It must be Enterprise. Because Enterprise, the Zindi, happens, what, season three through five or... Three through four, or four through five. So that must be Enterprise. I haven't seen that episode of Enterprise, I guess. I don't remember the early episodes of Enterprise very well, or actually much of it. The skeptics out there will say that's for a reason. We have our colony ship! Right, where are we going to colonize? This one. Less tower blockers. Uh, I'm going to pass again. Thank you very much, Vulcan, but no thank you. Research complete. Face cannons. Hmm. Let's go for the optical computer. Seems like a good idea. Very Star Trek-y. I approve. Station complete. Uh, two engineering, one engineering, two engineering. We could go for those. Again, the upkeep worries me a little bit. What's our mandate? Where do we actually see our mandate? Like... Has your picture changed? Offworld Minor. Does it have to be minerals? We've like got three bases set up. I think you need four to get your mandate done. But I'm not sure if you have a mandate as you as a starting character. I guess at the end of the day we can set up one more mining station. Find out. Research complete. Plus one influence. Special forces. Tempting. Science console. Ooh. Um. Again, all the descriptions are working progress. So I guess we go with science console. Federation, you know. I feel the science console is totally Research something to do. Complete. Destroyer! 
photonic torpedo, advanced tactical variants. Defense satellites, that'll take a while. But it is, you know, fairly easy to do. How long will this take to do? 16 months, advanced tactical variant. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Who needs the Enterprise when you can have, like, the Enterprise Mark II? Long -range scan of planet complete. Ooh. Oh, Bionic Star was pretty boring. Okay. Guess we're going to go for the next one, but that will be in the next episode. Let me know uh, down below in the comment section, by the way, if you're really enjoying this, if you like the look of the mod so far, etc. It's always good to get a feel when covering, like, a major new mod uh, and, like, having a new Let's Play how the people are feeling about it. Like, are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying the mod? What do you think? Do you think it's, like, too early to cover it? Do you think it's too late to cover it? Maybe I should have covered it earlier or whatever. Um, I mean, I'm definitely interested in coming back when it's got more stuff in it. So let me know. Uh, also, do feel free to comment, subscribe, and like. Just in general. I mean, all the time, really, on my videos, please. Oh, God, please. The life of YouTuber is... I can't live without those likes. Please. And until next time. Captain is like, start eight, 21.53.06.22, we have to stay shiny.